Hey, what's up everybody? We're making this video here to talk about things to know before you move to Hawaii or moving to Hawaii in general. Before you move here, check what island um, has all your needs met. Medical, um, educational, um, recreational, all of this is something that you're going to want to know and even cost of living. I'm going to make a video in the, in the future about what island is best for you, but for this one, I'm just saying before you move, make sure you get your, your basic needs taken care of. Um, as far as jobs go, I'm going to just mention woofing because someone has asked me about woofing in the past. Woofing is basically where you exchange your time, your labor for um, housing and food. Basically, you don't get paid. It's good for you because sometimes cost of living to live in the jungle or on a farm can can be pretty expensive. But if you exchange your your time and um, picking fruit or whatever, you know you can work on that farm and and exchange that for a place to stay. And you can find other ways to make money also, but um, that's at least that's woofing. Uh, finding jobs you can look on Craigslist for odds and ends or even post on Craigslist if you want to try and make money on your own. Um, also going to a lot of the resorts, they're hiring often and they pay decent wages to be a bartender or a server or even a uh, attendant. Um, when, you, when you're looking for a place to live, this can be a little bit of a, a hassle because there's such a demand for living in Hawaii that, uh, yeah, it can be a bit of a hassle. But yet again, checking on Craigslist can be a, a, a way to go about it. So Craigslist in Hawaii can be one of your best friends as far as uh, resources go. Um, I recommend that you sell all your stuff before you move here. If you can sell your car, great. If not, because the crate, the shipping is going to be really expensive and... People are constantly coming and going off the island, so yet again, Craigslist is really easy to pick up um, household goods at thrift stores and Craigslist. And also, this is one thing I recommend, is join Facebook groups related to Hawaii. There's pretty big groups if you're moving to Oahu, especially the military buy and sell pages, um, with 40,000 people, because military is always coming and going off the island. but. There's other pages, like um, if you're going to the Big Island, search for Big Island pages, Hawaii keywords in the search, and just join those groups and ask questions and get plugged in. You can also ask me questions too. Um, so this is a question that comes up that people, uh, I call it a misnomer or a misunderstanding. It's uh, racism in Hawaii. Obviously, I'm a pretty white guy, you know. Um, I don't think racism is very a very big deal here, okay? Um, you know, well, they say racism against white people or even black people or people from Micronesia, it comes up. Um, you have to remember, a lot of the Hawaiian people, there's not very many of them here. Um, and those, those people are very full of aloha anyways. And if you treat them with respect, they're going to treat you with respect. If you're getting racism turned, turned on you, it might be because of something that you're doing as far as your attitude. Um, so... Just don't don't get too hung up on the racism thing because it's 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 what you put into it. If you give it power, it'll have power over you. But it's not really that big of a big deal here. Actually, it's probably less here than it is wherever you're coming from. Um, get a an ID card in state as soon as you can. So not just because you can get a comma and a discount, but whenever you're applying for jobs, people take you more serious when you have an. Uh, Hawaii ID card or Hawaii driver's license with your address. It's not necessarily the easiest thing to do. And I'll tell you right off the bat, you're going to need documentation to provide the DMV at least two documents that are either a bill providing your home address, showing that you live here, and also, or also um, bank statements, you know. So you got to get, or even your voter registration. It's So there, you got to get here, you got to get moved in, and you got to get official documentation from the bank, from a bank, from uh, 
from a utility company, voter registration, yeah, and they will turn you around at the DMV many times until you get that information. And I would say, take that very serious because I've been turned around from the DMV many times. I had a bank statement and it was a credit card statement with my address on it and they wouldn't take that. So it's gotta be a bank statement from a banking checking account, okay? Uh, sunny days, no sleep. Now I'm telling you this because Hawaii is almost always sunny and a lot of the places don't have uh, air conditioning. So you're using air, uh, <clears throat> so that it's two, it's two sided. One is you're gonna feel guilty because it's sunny and beautiful. Why are you inside? So you're always gonna feel like you gotta get out there and, and do something like 365. And that can be exhausting because wherever you're coming from, they might have four seasons where you can at least get a season to hibernate. And then by the time summer comes around, you're like, yeah, summertime. Well, in Hawaii, it's like 365 sun. Maybe you get a day or two. <clears throat> where a hurricane you know changes that but even if you do get a day where you just want to totally relax it's still gonna be pretty hot in your room because it's sunny so that's something to keep in, in mind you might get exhausted um, I would say uh, also no oh, this is something that comes up quite often your clothing as you can see I'm wearing an Aloha shirt I'm not saying you gotta wear an Aloha shirt but I will say that um, even me coming from where I came from, I came here wearing <clears throat> sneakers and, you know, socks and regular shorts. And I ended up trading all that in over time for what I really needed, which is what fits the climate is a tank top. Um, what I call what they call hybrid board shorts. Hybrid board shorts are where you can take them in the water, but they're durable enough to wear any time. So because <clears throat> well, at least with me, it, it happened to where I always like getting in the water because we, we live close to a beach. And if I'm wearing like cloth or cotton um, sh clothes and I try to get in the water with sh shoes and socks, yeah, good luck, not cool. It's it's better to just go for slippers, what they call slippers, flip flops, chon clothes, whatever you call them, um, a tank top and uh, the hybrid board shorts. That's just the way it is, Dad, I'm telling you. It's <laughs> it's the way it is. It's not like some sort of thing you got to be doing to be cool. It's it's the way to do it to live out here. You don't want to. Also, don't get cheap flip flops because I've seen people get cheap flip flops, be hiking on like lava rock or something, and they break. And it's like, damn it, just do it right. Get some invest in like a forty dollar pair of flip flops, not some ten dollar payless flip flops that are gonna break when like really soon. So, um. Let's see here. That's pretty much, that's pretty much, I guess, the uh, the gist of this video. So if you have any questions, go ahead and contact me and uh, let's link up.